Hello from Who Died Today America, and welcome back to our channel. In the past few days, we have received somber news about the passing of extraordinary talents. Today's episode is dedicated to honoring their memory. Additionally, we will recap the stars whom we have recently lost. Before we begin, we kindly ask for your support. If this video or the legacies of these remarkable individuals have touched your life, please consider giving this video a thumbs up as a sign of respect and remembrance. Thank you. Jackie Lochery, a trailblazing figure in the worlds of beauty and entertainment, passed away in Los Angeles at the age of 93. Born Jacqueline V. Lochery in Flatbush, Brooklyn, her journey from the streets of New York to the global stage is a testament to her grace, talent, and perseverance. Crowned Miss New York USA, in 1952, Loggery made history as the first ever winner of the Miss USA competition, setting a precedent for the countless women who would follow in her footsteps. Luxury's victory at Miss USA launched her into the entertainment industry, where she left a lasting impression through her work in films like Pardners and the D.I., and on television in series such as Judge Roy Bean and The George Burns and Gracie Allen Show. Her role as Johnny Carson's assistant on Earn Your Vacation and her appearances on Perry Mason and Bat Masterson highlighted her versatility as an actress and her ability to captivate audiences across a variety of genres. Beyond the silver screen, Luggery's personal life was marked by her high-profile marriage to actor and producer Jack Webb, as well as her enduring union with Jack W. Schweitzer. Her later years were devoted to a quieter life away from the spotlight, working at the Home Savings and Loan Association and reminiscing about her illustrious career in entertainment. Jackie Loggery's legacy is one of pioneering achievement and dedication to her craft. As the first Miss USA, she paved the way for future generations, blending the worlds of beauty and entertainment with elegance and skill. Her contributions to film and television will be remembered as integral pieces of entertainment history. Joe Flaherty, a comedic genius and beloved figure in the entertainment world, passed away at the age of 82 on April 1st, following a short illness. Born in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, Flaherty's journey from the stages of Second City in Chicago to the sound stages of Hollywood left an indelible mark on the landscape of comedy. As a foundational member of the SCTV team, Flaherty not only showcased his writing prowess, but also introduced the world to unforgettable characters like Count Floyd and Guy Caballero, earning him a special place in the hearts of comedy enthusiasts. Flaherty's versatility shone through in roles across television and film, from his appearance as the Western Union Man in Back to the Future, Part 2, to the irascible Harold Weir on Freaks and Geeks. His ability to imbue each character with a unique blend of humor and humanity resonated with audiences and critics alike. Beyond his on-screen contributions, Flaherty was deeply committed to nurturing the next generation of comedic talent, serving as an artist in residence and educator at Humber College's School of Creative and Performing Arts. Joe's impact extended beyond the roles he played, influencing countless individuals within the industry and leaving behind a legacy of laughter and inspiration. His departure is a profound loss to the world of comedy, but his work will continue to entertain and influence for generations to come. Wesley Curly Clark, the godfather of Austin Blues, passed away at the age of 84. A stalwart of the Austin, Texas music scene since the late 1960s, Clark's influence permeated the local blues culture, nurturing it into the vibrant scene known today. Born and raised in Austin, he initially found his musical roots in gospel before transitioning to the blues and jazz genres that would define his career. Clark's early prowess on the guitar and bass caught the attention of blues legends, setting the stage for a storied career that would intertwine with the paths of many great musicians, including Jimmy Vaughn and Stevie Ray Vaughan. His decision to return to Austin after a brief stint with the Joe Tex Band marked a turning point for the local music landscape fostering a creative haven for emerging talents. Throughout the 1970s and beyond, Clark's bands were a fixture in the Austin music scene, sharing stages with international stars and leaving an indelible mark on audiences and fellow musicians alike. 
His mentoring of young prodigies like Charlie and Will Sexton showcased his commitment to guiding the next generation of artists. Clark's legacy was marred by tragedy in 1997, yet his resilience and dedication to his craft never wavered, culminating in a poignant performance on Austin City Limits to celebrate his 50th birthday, surrounded by friends and musical peers. His contributions to the blues genre and the nurturing of the Austin music scene have left a lasting legacy, ensuring that his influence will be felt for generations to come. Barbara Baldovin, whose enduring presence in American television and film captivated audiences, passed away at the age of 85 on March 31, 2024, from congestive heart failure. Known for her dramatic roles, including her memorable portrayal of Angela Martine in Star Trek, Baldwin's contribution to the world of entertainment spanned several decades, leaving an indelible mark on the industry. Throughout her career, Baldwin showcased her versatility as an actress, taking on various roles that demonstrated her depth and range. From Adam-12 to Medical Center and Mannix, her performances were not only a testament to her talent, but also to her dedication to her craft. Baldivine's transition behind the camera as a casting assistant and director for shows like Trapper John, Maryland, and Dynasty further highlighted her comprehensive understanding of the entertainment world. Baldivine's influence extended beyond the screen, contributing to the development of future talent as a faculty member at Don Wells's Film Actors Boot Camp. Her marriage to Joseph D'Agosta, whom she met on the set of Star Trek, was a beautiful union of two individuals deeply embedded in the entertainment industry. As we reflect on Barbara Baldivin's legacy, we remember her not just for the roles she played, but for her significant contributions to the shaping of television and film. Her work behind the scenes and her dedication to nurturing new talent will be remembered alongside her memorable performances. Lee Mrozak, famously known by his on-air moniker, Crazy Cabbie, passed away at the age of 55 on March 30th. His journey through the world of radio left an indelible mark on the industry, from the Twin Cities to New York City's 92.3 K-Rock and as a regular guest on The Howard Stern Show. Mrozik's career was a roller coaster of highs and lows, marked by his unique brand of controversy and shock jock antics. Mrozik's bold and often outrageous on-air stunts including a fabricated story involving Brett Favre that led to his dismissal from KQRS, underscored his commitment to pushing the boundaries of radio entertainment. Despite the controversies, Morozak's contributions to the radio landscape, particularly through his vivid storytelling and candid discussions of his life and struggles, resonated with many listeners. His battle with GBS CIPD, a rare nerve disorder, showcased a different side of Morozak one that faced adversity with resilience and hope. Even as he navigated the challenges of his illness, his determination to connect with others and entertain, as evidenced by his plans to launch his own podcast, remained undiminished. Lee Morosek's legacy in the radio world will be remembered for his fearlessness, his ability to evoke strong reactions from his audience, and his unwavering passion for the medium. His life story, from the airwaves to his personal battles, serves as a testament to the complex journey of a man who lived on his own terms. John Sinclair, a pivotal figure in the American counterculture movement, poet, writer, and political activist, passed away at the age of 82 on April 2nd from heart failure. Born in Flint, Michigan, Sinclair's life was a testament to the power of words and music as instruments of change. His work with the MC5, a band that became synonymous with the revolutionary spirit of the 1960s, and his founding of the White Panther Party, underscored his commitment to anti-racist and socialist principles. Sinclair's activism was not without its challenges. His arrest and subsequent imprisonment for marijuana possession became a cause celebre, highlighting the draconian drug laws of the time. His case, which eventually reached the United States Supreme Court, not only resulted in his release, but also set a precedent that challenged the government's surveillance practices, marking a significant victory for civil liberties. 
After his release, Sinclair's creative spirit flourished. He embraced jazz poetry, producing works that were often accompanied by music, thereby merging his dual passions for activism and art. His influence extended across the globe, from his radio shows on Radio Free Amsterdam to his collaboration with musicians and poets. John Sinclair's legacy is a rich tapestry of artistic and political endeavors. Through his poetry, activism, and indomitable spirit, he inspired a generation to question, to fight, and to dream of a better world. As we reflect on his contributions, we are reminded of the enduring power of art as a force for change.